give you an example of that date in particular. We had one guy, 40 years old, who was waiting to go on the list. Then we had uh, one guy, 29 years old, who was on the list, both for livers. Then we had a four and a half year old little boy who'd had a liver transplant at six months. Mm -hmm. Then we had a woman who came in and she had lost her son. I told you this already, didn't I? Yeah. No, I thought I did. Um, she lost her 16 year old son in a car accident and um, had, uh, um, donat had his, all his organs donated. And she was starting to hear back from the families. Then we had another woman who had lost her um, nephew or no, uh, her nephew had been um, transplanted at five years old. He was now 16. He had a kidney transplant, and now he needed a kidney and a liver. You know. Then we had that woman who came, uh, and um, her uh, um, the one in uh, Kelowna. And uh, what was her story anyway? So that those are the kinds of stories. And because of the media coverage. These people know where we are, you know, and that's the important thing is that we get that covered so that people can find us. Otherwise, um, we go through a community and um, they don't find us, and then you hear about us. And we quite often hear about people after the fact who say, "Oh, I know somebody down the road where you've already been who's you know, we missed them." You know, but on the other hand, we get people who are um, know somebody that where we haven't gone yet, and so we can link up with them. So. It, works really well that way. Yeah. Well, where's our thought? Yeah, here's another way of putting it. We, we calculated that there was going to be over 25 million steps to, to, to uh, take this. And every step that's taken is, is to acknowledge the heroic, uh, the heroic act of becoming an organ donor, you know, because that's what it is. It's, it's you. You're a hero, you know, when you become a, you're a hero, mm -hmm. because you're automatically stating that you want to save somebody's life. So, that you, you know, that makes you a hero. And, 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 and other people's and, life. And every, and every step that I'm taking and, 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 and David is taking, we're, we want to acknowledge that. You know, we want to acknowledge that to people. We want to, to let them know. And, and that's really what it's all about, you mm -hmm. know, this whole thing. Did you th see the thing in the news, uh, that lady that her son, seven-year-old, was there in a car accident? Yep. And she's in tears, and yep. she's and like, she's still oh, singing. How, how good it is, and it's like, that, you know, the poor lady that has to go through that. You I know, know, I saw but her on TV this yeah. morning, I think it was. Yeah, it's, it's pretty emotional. Yeah. But so, yeah, and, and the benefits afterwards are tremendous, because uh, you, 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 you know, with you see that I just came to my attention now that they have this uh, uh, option now that, that you can meet the, possibly the uh, family and the family can meet. You know, that, that just makes so much sense because things could be, could feel, they could be. They and then they feel like you're a part of them and can get, and they get to see what's done, yeah. right? So, so I, it actually helps them. looking from a recipient now, you know, one time I lost my wallet before I received, uh, you know, my transplant, and it had everything in there, and somebody returned it to me, and I thought I owed them my life, you know, yeah. because, and so, I mean, I thought that was the most ultimate thing somebody can do, so now just think, you know, uh, my funeral was planned and everything, I mean, someone made that decision, and, and I'm around because of that decision, mm -hmm. so just think what a recipient feels like to be around, you know, how, how uh, they feel about the family, you know. So, uh, you know, this, this, what we're doing here, I think should have been a priority in our country a long time ago, you know, but uh, we're, we're just starting to, to get a, you know, a handle on, on it. Well, it's only been in the last 10 years that the liver transplants have been successful. Now the rate is about 95%. And, um, and it's been because of the anti rejection drugs mm -hmm. more than the surgery itself. And the surgery itself has been, uh, you know, well, this is an example. I had a doctor that I was fighting with. And this guy was a gastroenterologist, and he said that he didn't 
want me to have a liver transplant because they were just a bunch of kooks practicing voodoo medicine. If I had taken his advice, I would not be here today. And um, they're not, I mean, it's not voodoo medicine. And it's a very appropriate term because that's what a lot of people think. They, you know, they do. They think that, well, you know, uh, what, what would be my chances anyway? So why bother? Why bother? get my organs, um, the person who is going to receive them uh, is likely going to not survive. Right. You know, so I'm trying to dispel that. You have a religious aspect too though, right? Like That's they want everyone to, for the person to be buried with everything because, you know, when they um, get reincarnated or go on or whatever, then they're lose. But they're not. I no, know, but, nobody but gets to buried. do that for this, for you know, you got a lot of religious ideas out there that's hard well, to write too. Well, the Jehovah's Witnesses, um, it's an individual choice with them and it's more to do with blood. Uh, they can't have blood transfusions because of the um, literal translation of the Bible. Right. And, um, but as far as organs go, it's, um, they're, they're pretty good about it. I talked to a guy yesterday about that actually, he's a Jehovah's Witness. And um, the Pope has now um, endorsed uh, organ donation, so there's a billion people in the world who can yeah, accept that's, that's that. That's going to be a neat experience, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm yeah, looking forward to it. Forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Are you, <laughs> Better be on you the nervous? Road. i to stay on the road crew. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to. Uh, i got to try and go there for a clean plate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take up my time confessing to it. Yeah, right. lots of Hail Marys. Okay, so good, yeah. Anyway, I'm... All right, here we are in Clinton, and this is the uh, this is a restaurant.